Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. Sign up for a one-week free trial, no credit card required, for access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. Hey guys, it's James with Chart Guys. It is Wednesday, March 28th. Gonna do my nightly video on gold. So gold, I am going to be, I'm hunting right now. I'm currently in a bounce position, uh, carefully watching the low of today of 13.2770 on this hourly candle as my uh, stop loss on this play. The hourly RSI is extremely oversold. Um, I think it's, it's it hasn't been this low in, in all in 52 weeks actually on the hourly. Uh, I got pretty close to this hourly RSI or at this level uh, back in December, uh, but I can only go back back about nine months. So in the last nine months, I haven't seen an hourly RSI in this level except for on, on uh, in December of 2017. So hourly RSI, we are looking for a bounce. This could be a bear flag here. It's on decreasing volume here. And so I wanna be a little bit careful uh, on this hourly. We wanna see it regain the, the, these exponential moving averages, the four, the green line, and the eight EMA here um, on any bounce, any rejection at those levels, and I am likely gonna take some profit um, if we do get any type of bounce there. And it's just gonna be to cool off the hourly RSI at this point. Uh, so back here, we had a dump and we consolidated, cooled, it all, cooled off the RSI some, and set up for another big dump today. And uh, the real clue was when it, overnight, it was when it lost this, this support here of 1348.80, uh, the dump that was coming and then you could see the volume come in for the bears here and looking at the four hour um, If we do continue to pull back if we get a weak hourly dump and then we continue to pull back on this four hour chart I'm gonna watch it for this. I'm gonna watch this this 30 RSI level in the past few times It's given us a nice uh, entry level for gold back here was awesome well, that 30 art that uh, over oversold four hour RSI was really nice for a bounce back here. Uh, not as big of a bounce, but still some significant gains to be had. Uh, about 20 points on move. Uh, back here, it had a little bit of smaller bounce and then pulled back and then had a more significant bounce there. And so as it gets closer to that area, I'm going to be uh, hunting for an entry here if, if that hourly bounce doesn't play out to be very strong. And so when you look at this hourly bounce, what you want to see is, uh, you know, because it's going to come overnight, the volume's not going to be as big as uh, the volume tends to come in um, around the big volume on, on gold tends to come in uh, once markets do open um, at, you know, around 8, 9 a.m. Mostly around 9 a.m. is when gold volume starts picking up. So uh, we could easily cool off this RSI without much volume and, and, and the gold not move much here and then continue to dump here. So you got to be really careful with this hourly RSI. You are playing against a trend. Uh, you want to have stop losses in place here for any type of oversold bounce play here. And if you're looking at the 10 minute, what I, I what made me get in here a little bit early, but you know, high risk, high reward play based on the hourly RSI being so oversold and expecting some type of oversold bounce. So unable on the 10 minute uh, to set a higher high all day, continue to set lower lows. And we did break to a higher high here um, once we, I was watching this double top here on the five minute 13.30.80. We broke that, entered, pulled back, set a higher low uh, from the bottom, set another higher high. And so we'll see if it sets another higher low and is able to hold this uh, 13.28.70. Must hold again is the low of the day here of 13.27.70. The reason why I'm using futures is because uh, I you're able to trade it after market close, whereas other trading instruments like ETFs um, or GLD, like GLD ETF or miners ETS, you're unable to trade it after 8 p.m. Um, and some people can't even trade it after market close. So uh, the longer term picture for gold, I'm looking at the daily here first. The daily as the four hour is oversold, I'm going to, so what I liked about gold was this inside candle, daily inside high and low after this big move was a consolidation move, stayed within the range of the previous ranges candles and we had a nice bull break on increasing bull volume and then continued higher once we broke the high of that 
uh, inside candle, bull break candle. Uh, yesterday had some bear volume, and then once we broke the low of today, bears absolutely stepped in and had increasing bear volume. So that is something to be a little bit wary of um, on gold bouncing. But as the four hour does and the hourly being oversold so much, at this point, I am going to expect a higher low of uh, 13.2460. So uh, 13.2460 is a very key area for me to be watching here. Uh, which was a consolidation low after this big green candle here. So 13.2460 is a big support for me. I'd like the bulls to establish a higher low above 13.2460 um, and then continue up if we get something more significant than an oversold uh, four hour and hourly RSI bounce. Looking at GDXJ, what I'd be watching for tomorrow is on the, let me see, the was it the hourly chart? No, it was the 50. 15 minute chart I was looking at. So GDXJ right now, um, the what we do have a little bit of some resistance to be watching for is going to be tomorrow. The first resistance to watch for is at 31.79 and then uh, 31.83 on the 15 minute. Uh, really going to prove themselves more so to me. Uh, I'd like to see a significant bounce and break 32.05 tomorrow. Uh, that's me personally. Support obviously is going to be at the low of the day today of uh, 31.62. This all is going to look different tomorrow morning depending on how significant of a bounce um, gold has. There was some uh, bullish flow into GDX uh, by settlement. There was, mon there was money flowing into GDX, J and GDX into the miners. I saw a big AG uh, silver ETF, I'm sorry, SLV silver ETF buy uh, during during the day as well. So those are all something to be watching out for uh, with some big money moving into these instruments um, on this dump. So there are from, you know, they could just be setting up for just an oversold bounce like I am um, at this point, but we'll see what happens. GDX, the senior miners, senior miners, a little bit better chart at this point towards the end. Uh, this morning, I did like junior miners better for the bounce because they hadn't broken to the low of the day on on the senior miners doing so, but it was just happened to be a laggard um, to the senior miners. So anyways, we have a, a low, a high, a higher low, and a lower high here. So this 15 minute is tightening. We'll see how it opens up tomorrow. Same thing, first resistance to watch tomorrow is gonna be 21.69 and then uh, 21.71, double top there on the 10 minute. And then I would really like 21.85 to break here. Um, then of course the high of the day today are resistances. Support is going to be, first is going to be that higher low here at 21.57 and then uh, 21.56. Looking at the dollar, looking at the daily here. So the dollar daily, uh, so it was setting, it was setting higher lows here. And once we broke that, if you've been following my videos, I was pretty bear. I was bearish on the dollar, and it did follow through. We are getting a pretty nice big green candle today, uh, especially showing strength on breaking that that upper wick candle yesterday, um, the bounce candle yesterday, and that is showing me some significant strength there on that big green candle. What I'm going to look for is is going to be a lower high from 90.445. As long as we stay below 90.445, then we the the uh, bears, the dollar bears are still going to be in control here. Um, looking at the weekly, if you're looking at the weekly and you're waiting for a break either way, then you can either wait for a break here of the high on the weekly of 90.932 or for a bear break here of 90.432. And if you're zoom out, if, let me trade, say change it to a monthly chart. If you see this as a monthly chart, then it's simply been at the top, a dump, a little bit consolidation, a dump, a little bit of consolidation on the monthly, and then a dump. And so the pattern here at this point on the monthly still favors the bears um, on this longer term dollar chart. And if you watched my fundamental video that I posted uh, yesterday with some fundamental research and analysis and uh, some longer term view on the dollar, uh, gold and oil, then you'll kind of get an idea of what I'm looking for on these longer term charts on the dollar. If you look at gold monthly, just go over it with you. Gold monthly has now three consecutive candles with a lower, uh, with a lower high on the monthly. The high here was at 13.6540, 13.6440, 13.6260. So a little bit of a lower high on each monthly candle. And so uh, unless something crazy happens, I'm not expecting to. With one trading day left in the month, I'm not going to expect gold to take out 13.6440. But uh, next month, what I would watch for is a break of 13.6260 for the bulls, um, and I would keep my eyes on that monthly candle and 
as you, as you can see on the monthly on gold, for bears to take back control, they have uh, quite a ways to go here. Um, we did break to a higher high again on the monthly here, not by much here. Above this high was at 13.6240. We did break to a higher high by breaking to 13.6540. Not a significant bull break, but a higher high nonetheless. And we've been setting higher lows here on pullbacks. So any pullback, as long as bulls stay above uh, 1238.30 on gold, then they're still going to be in control in this monthly chart. So that's just a longer term view. Um, this is obviously going to take months and months to play out potentially. But uh, what I would eye is the high of this month at 13.62. 60 and see if we can break that. Also, if you're looking for a trade tomorrow, again, the hourly is extremely oversold and looking for if the hourly stays oversold, if it comes to that daily support of consolidation uh, at that, let me see. Consolidation low here of 1324.60. I'm gonna be watching that four hour chart and see if it, uh, if it's going to be an oversold territory as well as it reaches uh, into that area and i am going to at this point and so if you're looking at the four hour chart to follow that that's the consolidation low on that up 13 24 60. that's the inside daily candle so at this point um, if we do get a little bit more oversold i am going to expect a higher low to be set at around this area and see uh, some type of bounce at least even if we set a lower high um, on this four hour chart bounce and then uh, break to a lower low uh, and the flip side which you can look for is for uh, a bounce attempt then on a pullback you need to set a higher low uh, higher low above 13.2770 and then a higher high to continue and let you know that this pullback is over and that bulls may be taking control and so at this point i'm looking at this four hour candle here we have one two three four five now consecutive uh, red candles with lower lows on each consecutive candle and lower highs and so watching this four hour candle as well we need to hold that low which is the low of of today's candle at 1327.70 on this bounce attempt and would like to break honestly i would like a four hour candle to set a higher high here at 1334.40 so those are all things to be watching for uh overnight if you're a futures trader and for setups tomorrow on seeing how significant this gold oversold bounce is going to be on the hourly and again i do think the opportunity is there if we do stay in this rsi level for a nice bounce play um, entry um, you can either be patient you can be patient at this point on the hourly for either a uh, break of resistance of 1331.30 or if you're looking for a bear play 1327.70 and the reason why i'm not looking bearish um, until we get a significant bounce is because I think the downside at this point is going to be limited compared to the upside on a bounce because of where the RSI levels are. So have a good night and I will see you tomorrow.